I'm back. It's been said that Italians are chronically late. But are they really? If you move to Italy from a place like the US, one of the first things that will shock you is how flexible people can be with punctuality. If you've been living in Italy for a while, have you ever wondered why this is the case? In this video, we're going to talk about punctuality in Italy and my opinion on why I think it's like this. My name is Tia, and welcome to Unpacked, a series where I try to not only unpack my metaphorical suitcase after 10 years of living as an American in Italy, but also unpack stereotypes with the end goal of reaching a place of greater understanding. In one of my much older videos, I said something along the lines of, Italians are always late and everything is late in Italy. Now that I'm older, wiser, and learned a fancy new word called nuance, I'm ready to reevaluate this statement. When looking at a statement like, everything is late in Italy, Italians themselves will most likely hit you with the national favorite word, dipende, or it depends. They'll most likely tell you that depending on where you are, this statement isn't as true as in other places. They're implying that the farther north you go, the more punctual people will be, and the opposite is true for the farther south you go. You'll find that people here will say this is the case for just about everything in Italy. It's the famous north-south Italian divide showing itself. And sometimes it's true, but in this case, in my personal experience, it's usually not. It's much easier to talk about myself than to talk about others, so let's start by talking about me. Since living in Italy, I can easily say that I've become a much more forgiving person when it comes to lateness. And I mean, dare I even say it, sometimes, sometimes I'm the late one. Growing up on the northeast coast of the US, we had a saying, to be early is to be on time, to be on time is to be late, and to be late is to be left behind. It was really conditioned in me that being late was not only disrespectful, but that I would be punished for it. And furthermore, when other people were late with me, I was being disrespected and I should punish them. As I got older, this mindset became so ingrained that I would have actual moments of intense anxiety every time I would be late. Every minute I went past schedule, I would get a tightness in my stomach and feel an increase in my heart rate. Lateness was something that I didn't only feel negatively about from an emotional perspective. So, you know, me actually feeling guilty and remorseful about being late. But also my entire body had a negative physical reaction to running late. In fact, I wasn't late one in the US and my childhood friends could testify for how upset I would get when they were late with me. And it's a weird feeling outgrowing your friends, but you know, it is what it is. As you can imagine, it was hard to adjust to Italy in the beginning. I was rarely late, mostly early, and couldn't understand why I was standing around for sometimes up to an hour waiting for people. I was like, what's wrong with you guys? And sometimes I would actually ask them, what is wrong with you guys? That said, over the years, I've had to get over myself because I, a simple human being, I wasn't going to change the culture around me. And on top of that, it wasn't even my culture to change. Culture shock is a normal human phenomenon, but the sooner that you understand that it's your role as immigrant to adapt or leave, the easier it is. So yeah, I wasn't going to change Italy, but I got tired of waiting and I got tired of getting upset. And I guess that was the exact moment that I started to adapt to my new environment. I started worrying about the clock less and sometimes even being, like I said, that late person myself. Which is ironic because hearing my complaints, since they were my friends and actually cared about me, piuttosto di mandarmi a quel paese, my friends did slowly become more attentive at being more punctual with me. It's like we got to this happy medium. Anyways, this is what I learned from observation. In general, Italians are pretty lax when it comes to punctuality in social situations. More than a north-south divide, I would say that it's an individual thing. Some people are chronically late and some people aren't like everywhere in the world. <laughs> but the real difference is that you're allowed to be late to social situations in Italy, where in the US, it's typically frowned upon, like I said. So long as you give notice, no one in Italy is going to seriously be upset at you for being late to a coffee date or to a dinner. And knowing this, of course, people are also more likely to be late themselves. The train may run late, you may remember something last minute, there could be a strike, or literally it could rain. All of the above actually happen in Italy, some more than others, and all are valid reasons to be late in the Italian universe. So one day I asked myself, why? 
Why was being late with your friends in Italy okay, but being late with your friends in the US was not? What was the fundamental difference in values? One thing that I've noticed is that Italians have a higher propensity to be accommodating to others. It's a very community-oriented culture, which is a stark difference to the famous American individualism. And that can be uncomfortable at first. You'll find that Italians are pretty open to sharing as well, whether it be something small like offering you a chip from their snack or something big like locking themselves up for months on end just because the government told them to and that it was for the good of the whole. This means that it should be no surprises that they'd be understanding to the fact that something could have happened to you which caused you to be a little bit late and that them sharing time with a friend or an acquaintance is an expected pleasure and not actually an obligation. Italians are always looking out for the group unit, whether that be their family, their friends, their city, their region, and then finally their national culture. So as a friend, they're not going to stress you about being a late individual. I've noticed that a lot of the times that I'm late these days, it's because one appointment runs into another. And more than this being an act of disrespect with reference to the time of the second appointment, couldn't it also be a manifestation of me giving my undivided attention and focus to the first appointment and that I could still give that attention to the second appointment too, just later? And then it's a domino effect, chain reaction that for sure other people around me are also doing as well. And maybe that's what's making everyone so late in Italy. Living in Italy taught me how to live in the moment because that's actually what living is about. And sometimes these moments run long, and not only is it often more pleasurable than not, but those few extra minutes of you living them won't change anything in the grand scheme of things. While as an American, I was brought up with the idea that structure, rules, and enforcement were necessary for functionality, my experience in Italy showed me another perspective of seeing things. Things still function here, just with less stress on exactly when, and more stress on the quality of the thing once they do. But as I said in the beginning, things really do depend because while this level of flexibility exists in social situations amongst friends and family, it doesn't extend to the same extent in professional situations and especially not in Milan, so don't be annoying. Time. We actually all give value to it. We know it's a precious and limited resource. What changes is perspective and how we manifest our appreciation for it. Some people will appreciate it by saving you time through adhering to strictly mapped out appointment slots. Meanwhile, others will appreciate it by spending as much time with you in the most meaningful way that they know how. And who am I to actually say what's right or what's wrong? I'm grateful for learning another perspective and expanding my horizons. What do you guys think? Let's start a discussion in the comment section down below on your experience with punctuality in different cultures. And let's not stop at this one is laid and this one is not, but what does each culture value which causes them to behave in a certain way? I'd love to know. Anyways, thank you for choosing to spend your time listening to my opinions and experiences. I thank you for helping me unpack. I hope my point of view could inspire you to consider another perspective and go beyond the stereotype. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe because there are more like it still to come. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next one.